at you from Diamond Bee Farm with another video. Well, you know, we got the Vigo and we got it together, but now then Kevin's going to have to come in and he's going to have to help us level it up because spring is around the corner. It's time to get this thing filled up and it's time to get it, get some of it planted with some of the bulbs that we've got in from different companies. So let's get, let's get it leveled up. We are kind of spraying spray painting around kind of where the outside's gonna go so that we know where to dig and all that good stuff because i really think we got a lot of leveling up to do on that side don't you the really awesome thing about being able to spray paint on the inside is no one's gonna see inside of it because we're gonna have dirt and everything else mounted up right there so you're you're not gonna see in it right But he's doing a pretty good job. It's not looking like it's even on it. Good job, Daddy O. <laughs> Our guineas don't know what's up. So we use that leveler to see about how much we need to start digging. And now then Daddy has volunteered himself <laughs> to dig. I volunteered myself. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good daddy. He is, he is. So they are retrying it. Oh, is it is it close? Side to side, it's pretty close. Pretty close. How about this other side? Of the house? Oh, okay. We are. Right Oh, so, while dad's doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Vigo has for sale right now on their website. So, as of today, it is February 10th. So, they are running a Valentine's Day special where you get a $150 off of two um, planners. You'll just go on their, their website and... Um, the details are all there and I will link it below. So, um, they're a really awesome company that is striving to make better, um, more eco-friendly, um, planters. So I highly recommend it if you are even thinking about producing any kind of garden, whether it be an herb garden, a flower garden, or even a vegetable garden. So, so this corner was still too low. That means on all the other corners, we've got to dig down and get some free dirt um, to make sure that this is all good and level. All right, that looks a lot better. Doesn't that look good? A lot better. Daddy does good work. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's a perfectionist as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that right there on that end? Perfect. Look at him go. <laughs> Gotta make sure all the sides are there, level. There. Here, just a little bit high. I bet it, it'll settle though. I think it's much. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, there you go. She's all level. It took 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> that's pretty level. 
And it looks good. I can't believe it's that good myself. Now we are finally ready to start filling our Vigo 10-in-1 modular planner. Um, as you saw in the last few clips, we have leveled it up. And now then, we are ready to start putting in some of our layers. Um, a fun fact about cardboard, and that's going to be our like base layer, cardboard will stop the growth of any of the different grasses or weeds on the bottom. So we're going to layer it with cardboard. And then we are going to take some sticks and just some like bigger or smaller but bigger logs um, from a tree that, that we had fall down. Um, then we're gonna layer it with those because that's gonna take up kind of like the like the, like like the the bulk of um, us having to like fill it up with like different um, like dirt and stuff like that. Next, we're gonna mix in just some leftover pine cones from a seasonal thing that that we had set up, and then we're gonna do um, some. Um, sorry, one of the horses is eating on Mama's blueberry bushes. <laughs> Look! No way! Get out of there and leave my blueberries alone! Get on! Y'all have hay. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. They're a mess. Um, but after, after the sticks and after the cardboard, we're gonna then put in rabbit manure. So, I'm actually really glad that we are doing this project when we're doing it because that checked off, um, another chore on my to-do list. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to top it off with some potting soil. So, let's get to work. Alright, so, it does not have to be perfect, but I would like it to lay kind of flat. So, we have several pieces of cardboard, so I just want to make sure that this is just lined really well with our cardboard. Okay. Now. Let's get Well, those two pieces just may get it done. Oh, I know. There's scissors down there, too, if you need to cut it. Well, I figured we'd just use all of it. Yeah, that's true, too. It probably that could probably keep it laying, laying flat down. too. All right. Well, that is that part done. Now then, I think I've got to go get some sticks. That's our next layer. So let's go. While she's doing that, I'm going to go and get a piece of video equipment. Next layer. Yeah. So we can both be on camera. We have all hands on deck. And you know, here's something. If you own a farm or if you're thinking about gardening or if you're thinking about doing anything, one thing to invest in, a good wheelbarrow. <laughs> makes life a whole lot simpler. Trust me on that one.
right or wrong answer to how much you put in here or or what you or what you fill it with. I mean, naturally the um, sticks, leaves, grass clippings, anything that you have that will, I mean, that you would normally put on your compost can go in here as well. Now what? One more maybe? Go on this side? Yeah. Huh? Yes we can. And then grab it. <laughs> Helps when you got muscle. <laughs> It helps with your beds and your and your um, a good source of nutrients. And yes, I will be going and getting more. So let me show you worms. Yeah, we'll go get worms and put in here too.
chickens so um, we emptied out some of their old brooders that that they're gonna go in after um, they kind of get dried off so that'll be our next project for today on this glorious Sunday I know now it's getting cool I know I'm getting chilly 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 all okay. right now we're ready for all dirt. The dirt and what we have is just a Oh, yeah, you may have to move that. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> general purpose pro mix. Uh, it's what we use in all of our um, pots, all of our gardens and stuff like that that we need, um, you know, to kind of freshen up our soil. We get this at our local Amish greenhouse. Um, and if you are getting a like, large container, I would suggest buying in bulk. That's why we do go up to the Amish to get all of our potting soils because it's it's just cheaper buying it in bulk as to go into like well, one of the like big box stores and buying individual smaller bags. So let's get some dirt in here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, still my need to cut it down the front maybe. Do it. Do it, Theus. A right down the, uh, <coughs> by the swimming pool. But that's the kind of rake you're looking for. There's a horse race behind the barn. Yep. Whichever the red one was. Yeah, yeah that's what the red one was. My apple picker. Look at this 
right. I think that's good, don't you? Two mm -hmm. of them really filled it up. And now then, I think it's time for you to see what kind of bulbs we have. We got a lot of bulbs. Because they kind of need to go on and get in, in the ground. So now then, we are finally at the planning stage. So we also want to thank the second sponsor of this video, Territorial Seeds, for sending us bulbs and also seeds. So um, just a little bit about Territorial Seeds. They started out in 1985 just as a small family farm. Um, they Their first catalog was actually written in 1979 for the fall. Um, they grow their own crops and their own seeds. They they actually do, I think, almost 20% of all of their like company seeds. So that's 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 a lot compared to how many acres that that it takes to actually make seeds for everything. Um, they actually employ 70 full-time and seasonal employees. So that's just a great overall business um, coming from a family farm to a awesome franchise. So they sent us seeds, which we will get into those in the spring, um, whenever seeds are kind of better apt to grow. But we're gonna go over a little bit of what they sent us bulb-wise. I'm gonna put those on my table right there. And now then we're gonna go over our flowers. So um, these are six double nar narcissus? Nar narcissus, does that look right? Yeah, they're like, um, it's a really pretty flower. I am a sucker for anything that like looks like a buttercup. And they sent us two flowers that have the same color and the same same kind of style as buttercups. Um, and this next one is six um, split corna nar narcissuses. I don't know. They're all going to be linked down below. Um, so they are a like really tall plant that that we are going to kind of group together um, because if you'll read on the back. It tells you all about how you're supposed to plant it and everything. So we're gonna get to it. Um, and the other bulbs we have also collected are is this um, this saffron corkscus corks corkscus. Yes. So these actually have grown a little bit. We weren't ready for it, um, as you can tell. We just finished it. So. Yeah, these have grown a little bit in their little little um, container, um, and, and I'll let mom go over and the it's rest. Not, it's not that it's been really snowy, but the wind and the hum the wind and the humidity has made it feel like this winter that it's been like maybe ten. But then again, like one day during the work week, we had a seventy degree day, and then the next day it was. So that's what we've been fighting with. And not to mention, we have been fighting uh, the little the little virus. I'm not gonna say it, but during Christmas, um, our family was plagued by it. Um, just a little short little um, tidbit of information. So yeah, now then we are going to. Mom got some um, Valentine's Day flowers. Um, from her sister and oh they're so cute oh my gosh but she's going to plant these out I'm just gonna cut off everything down to the bulb and we're gonna get them in the ground yep so let's watch let's everybody do it let's get busy Thing. 
Can you stop it? If you want to. Do I stop or pause? Just stop it. It doesn't matter. These the same way? These purple ones? Yeah. I don't know where you want those. Um, Territorial Seeds also sent us some garlic, but we have another plan for that. Um, so we're going to put them where we store all of our seeds so they can um, last until then. Um, but we have it all planted, um, just with bulbs for now. Um, and then whenever we start planting everything in the spring, um, this will be filled up. And I'm so excited for that. Um, because I'm hoping I can move my loofahs to here um, and put some cattle paneling on one side of it so it can do its whole climbing thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. This has been a pretty long video. It has. Thank you to Territorial Seeds. Yes. To Vigo Gardens. And, you know, hey, thank you for hitting the subscribe button and watching our videos. Uh, we appreciate it. Um, share us with your friends. All right. Bye, guys.